Hi, I want to show you how to really reduce autistic symptoms in people. Imagine, imagine feeling fine, then 30 minutes later after having a meal, uh, feeling really introverted, unsocial, anxious, unable to converse with people properly. This was me for years until I really started to understand these problems I was having and then ultimately uh, reduce the autistic symptoms so much that I lost my diagnosis. One of the main things I was suffering from was SIBO. Uh, I suffered from this uh, for years and SIBO also as well as giving me uh, autoimmune disorders like rosacea and also um, severe dust myalgies also gave me salicylic intolerance so I could only eat meat for ages uh, if it didn't you know depending on the salicylic content of the food it could make me really ill uh, and my salicylic intolerance started to get a lot better when I sorted out my SIBO uh, I did that with uh, B10 HCL so hydrochloric acid uh, to my stomach acid and also sipping apple cider vinegar throughout the day apple cider vinegar is great for reducing autistic symptoms uh, one time I felt a panic attack coming on after a meal I had brain fog and was getting a tension headache so you know it would have been inflaming the gut and then ultimately inflaming my brain that's how it works then I had apple cider vinegar 10 minutes later I felt so much more relaxed and my brain fog like diminish it was amazing uh, the medical industry has a very hard time helping autoimmune disorders like rosacea, dust allergies, that sort of thing. But all that got sorted when I healed my gut. That's also why they're pretty bad at helping people reduce autistic symptoms. Because it usually starts in the gut, the microbiome. Uh, I was also taking probiotic capsules with the apple cider vinegar as well. That seemed to help. Uh, so find out what agrees with your stomach and what doesn't. That is the key to your health. Health is individual. Food can give you health, but it can also take it away. This is how I reduced my autistic symptoms. I became much less compulsive and got rid of all my habits and now have a varied diet. Autism doesn't have to be a lifetime sentence. Uh, but you have to put in the work to help reduce your symptoms. There are people out there who say, oh, accept it, it's who they are, but they don't see the big picture. It, it can be debilitating. Having bad autistic symptoms, uh, like being stuck in your head, cycling thoughts constantly. It's an inflamed brain usually caused by an inflamed gut. Look at all the medical literature on the subject. It's fact. And, you know, it's often caused by having a genetic predisposition, usually bad at detoxification. And also, you know, environmental factors. Food comes in along with that as well. And, you know, toxins. Um, it's also why I take NAC tablets uh, to help with my detoxification. Uh, so, if person is experiencing bad autistic symptoms, it needs to be reduced so they can live happy, healthy and independent lives. I also don't eat gluten because it really affects me. It, uh, it burns my stomach and I become inflamed. I also very avoid um, dairy because it doesn't really agree with me. Um, when I was experiencing bad autistic symptoms, I had to try to act normal. It was horrendous. I couldn't function properly with brain fog. I was so forgetful, I could barely cook. Uh, people also don't realize how fast regression can occur if not having an appropriate diet. I'm an altruistic person, so I like to help people out there. Uh, like if they're experiencing similar symptoms, you know, this is why I'm making these videos, to help the people.
Thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.